Okay, Captain Marvel versus Sh Shazam. Now we're talking. A man child versus a superwoman. I, I I don't know. I don't know. Many with great power choose to take up the responsibility of being a hero. But for others, it is thrust upon them when they least expect it. Like Captain Marvel, the high-flying Avenger. And Shazam, the literal boy-turned-hero of the Justice League. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Before she would take up her superhero mantle, Carol was an army brat raised by Joe and Marie Danvers. Inspired by her U.S. Navy dad, Carol joined the Air Force at 18 with the hopes of one day becoming an astronaut. Which sounds really cool, except, you know, comic book outer space is way more dangerous than real outer space. Which is already, you know, pretty friggin' dangerous. Arnold, don't take off your... No! You're not far off. After becoming head of security at NASA, Carol was caught up in an alien struggle, which resulted in an explosion of a device called the Psych Magnetron. Uh, what's it now? The Psych Magnetron was designed to bestow okay. superhuman powers to the alien species known as the Kree. Caught close to the explosion, Carol seemed to be unaffected. But, plot twist, her mom was an alien Kree all along. And so, Carol's half Kree, half human genetics were fused and awakened. Forging her into a superheroine, the likes of which the world had never seen. Too bad she didn't even know about it for months. Yeah, she'd black out sometimes and then wake up to hear of a new blonde superhero lady saving the day. It's like keeping your own secret identity a secret from yourself. Eventually, she did figure it out and accepted her role as Miss Marvel. Oh yeah, she's had a bunch of names like that. Warbird and Captain Whizbang. Not, not kidding about that one. Until a certain Kree superhero and close friend passed on. Upholding the legacy of her mentor, she took up his heroic name. And so Carol became known as Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel possesses incredible superhuman strength, speed, stamina, and durability. She resists fatal poisons, has a notable healing factor, and doesn't even need to eat or sleep for long periods of time. She's got a ton of experience fighting with the Avengers, X-Men, and the space-faring Starjammers. Oh, and she can freaking fly. And to top it off, she possesses incredible energy manipulation powers. She can fire photon blasts from her body, alter matter at a molecular level, and absorb enormous amounts of energy, which can augment her own power. And when she absorbs enough energy, she busts out the big guns by transforming into her ultimate form and top-tier fire-type Pokemon, Binary. Thanks to some weird experiments done to her by the creepy crawly brood aliens. First she gets her human and Kree bits smashed together, and then she gets her genes brooded to become a sun person? As Binary, she is extraordinarily powerful on a cosmic scale. Directly connected to the power of a white hole, Binary can control all forms of energy, fly through space, move at the speed of light, and even control gravity. Oh, so he controls gravity. Big deal. Even I can do that. Watch this. Oh, God, what have I done? Oh, no. How sad. I'm a monster! Here. I'll pour one out for you, buddy. Oh, my gosh. You're oh, wait. Wait. Let's move on. <laughs> move on! While she has lost her binary powers before, she still maintains an instilled connection to white holes nearby and can summon the form when necessary. Similar to another long dormant power of hers, her hyper awareness. Her deja vu power! She can automatically predict her opponent's moves, sort of like Spider Man's really OP spider sense. With her slew of abilities, Marvel is at force to be reckoned with. It wasn't easy for her, though, and she soon found herself wandering the universe in search of purpose. But nobody got away with messing with her for long. She's tough enough to survive a nuclear blast, a shot from a disintegrator beam which could destroy the android vision in one shot, and even a direct hit from a tachyon laser. Tachyons are a theoretical class of particles that travel faster than the speed of light and are capable of slicing through nearly anything. Like an entire Kree starship? 
Yeah, I wouldn't want to be on the end of one of those. Not only was Marvel able to take a hit from one of these, she could dodge subsequent shots as well. But let's take it up a notch. As binary, she survived attacks from both the Phoenix Force and the Aleph's, both of which are known for blowing up entire planets. Hell, she can wipe out planets on her own if she really wants to. Cause she totally already has. Even without her binary powers, Marvel could toss around and obliterate the remnants of this enormous asteroid. Damn, that's impressive. Hey Wiz, how come you've never mentioned how strong I am? I bet I could punch apart an asteroid. Well, I don't know, Boomstick. I'd have to calibrate a new strength meter to accommodate your- oh, oh. Get up, that's two for squealing. So, she's super powerful, but she does reach some limits if she overuses her powers. You know, after blowing up a couple planets or whatever. That and absorbing magical energy can be a dangerous gamble. Though it doesn't stop her from taking on mystic monstrosities whenever she needs to. Cause Captain Marvel is one superhero who will never stop fighting. No matter what. Oh good. Looks like I didn't miss all the fun. Another combatant. <laughs> Thanks. Right back at ya. <laughs> After moving between foster families for most of his life, 15-year-old Billy Batson didn't know the meaning of home. But one day, after being chased by bullies into a subway car, Billy was magicked away to the Rock of Eternity, where he was granted powers by a mysterious wizard. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That's it? No freaky alien genes? No parents getting gunned down in an alley? He just hopped on a train and shot off to meet some old dude? Where's the tragedy? Where's the drama? Boomstick, he's, he's an orphan. orphan. Uh, oh, yeah. great. Oh, suck it up. Anyway, the Rock of Eternity is no ordinary chunk of dirt floating across the cosmos. It was the home of a wizardly hero who was in need of an heir. And to claim his powers, all Billy needed to do was speak aloud a single magic word. Shazam! Shazam! What kind of magic word is Shazam? Even Abracadabra would be better than that. Oh, I'm saying you have no room to talk. Your password is password. And you don't even spell it right. Exactly, Wiz. Genius. I... Oh, wait. Wait a minute. How do you know my password? Let's move on. Anyway, whenever Billy shouts his magic word with heroic intent, he summons a bolt of lightning that ages him up to become Captain Marvel! Until they change that shit because of Marvel coming. Long story short, Captain Marvel was originally conceived not by DC or Marvel, but by Fawcett Comics as a competitor for Superman. Yeah, DC didn't like that, so they killed off the Captain in the courtroom and took the character for themselves. Then Marvel Comics showed up 20 years later and had a similar legal battle with MF Enterprises. Mother Enterprises? Damn, they beat me to it. Well, good news, because apparently they forgot how copyright works and tried to make their own Captain Marvel. There's half the power to pop his head off, and that's about it. He's stupid. Let's move on. With that, Captain Marvel had two owners. Marvel owned the name, but DC owned the character. And so began a cold legal war, with both companies silently daring the other to cross the line. Till DC decided, nah, screw it, let's call him Shazam. As Shazam, Billy gains a wide variety of impressive powers, including the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the lightning of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. And the body of legal drinking age! Each of these ancient beings granted their own capabilities to Shazam. The wisdom of Solomon gave him a perfect memory and the ability to magically gain any knowledge he needs to know. So, it's like a smartphone with internet access. I... sure. The strength of Hercules makes him super strong, obviously. And with the lightning of Zeus, he got awesome electric powers. Zeus himself once channeled the power to defeat the Shattered God, a being only previously slain by the Big Bang. Hey, slayed your mom with the Big Bang. Shazam also gained accelerated healing, a shortcut to the Rock of Eternity, and the ability to share his powers with anyone he considers family, like his adopted sister. I suppose he eventually found himself a home after all, huh? Aw, oh, that's touching. But back to cool superpowers! With the courage of Achilles, he became tough enough to survive in space and even take on Superman himself! And with the speed of Mercury, he can fly as well as move faster than light. Hey, wait a minute! Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, 
The first letters come together to spell Shazam! Yep. Haha, <laughs> and you say I don't pay attention to stuff. Despite Billy's often sour attitude thanks to, well, the homelessness, he always dreamed of rising up and becoming a hero. As Shazam, he wound up being so good at hero work, he joined the Justice League. Though he did keep the truth of his powers a secret, as Superman would probably think twice about sending a 15-year-old into an active combat zone. Eh, you gotta learn sometime, right? Plus, he's super powerful, able to stand up against all sorts of aliens, monsters, and gods. He's fast enough to transform and dodge a bullet all in one move, and even outran the Flash, racing around the world at speeds even Superman doubted he could match. That's right, Shazam is faster than freaking Superman. Superman can perceive time and react down to the femtosecond. For Flash and Shazam to exceed this in one run around the Earth, they must be moving more than 133 trillion times faster than light. Yeah, that's cool and all, but how about the time he punched so hard he started a black hole out of nowhere? He's tough enough to shrug off Superman's punches, survive planet-bursting shots from the Void Hound, and even a bomb that turned his whole body inside out! Oh, what the f***? That's the Tesseract Bomb, and Shazam's magic was powerful enough to pull himself back together without much issue. So, technically not a straight durability feat, but still, a device that turns things inside out? Delightful! It's so fascinating, I had to replicate it for myself. The hell is that? Uh, if my calculations are correct, this should mimic the space-bending reversal effects of the Tesseract Bomb, turning any object inside out. Hey, wait, wait, I haven't tested- Oh yeah, that makes sense. However, even with all Shazam's might, he is still 15-year-old Billy Bats. His time and experience hardly compares to other members of the Justice League, and his headstrong immaturity can't help but slip out every now and then. Hey, Black Heart the Death Eater, whatever your World of Warcraft name is, suck on me! Wish it's gotta be super hard going back and forth in that hormone hurricane. Yet distractions and adversaries aren't enough to stop this Kate Crusader. He may be the ultimate power fantasy incarnate, but he's also exactly what he hoped he'd be. A hero. You know, you've never been any good against magic, and magic's what I'm all about.